Now, when an authoritarian regime comes to power through coercion, it means that force has been used against those who oppose regime change. Now, many authoritarian regimes come to power after successful revolutions or military coup d'etat. These are violent acts that require a willingness to take up arms against the power of the state. As Mao famously said, a revolution is not a dinner party, or writing an essay, or painting a picture, or doing embroidery. It cannot be so refined, so leisurely and gentle, so temperate, kind, courteous, restrained, and magnanimous. A revolution is an insurrection, an act of violence. Revolutionaries must be prepared to get their hands dirty. Now, Lenin wrote some of the most sophisticated philosophical work of the 20th century, but he also wrote articles about methods to be used when killing policemen or on how to rob banks. It's also worth noting that although coercion is employed against opponents of would-be authoritarian regimes, it is also used in revolutionary organizations to help instill discipline within the group that is attempting to seize power. It can be just as important that revolutionaries fear the consequences of betraying their cause more than being caught and punished by those in authority itself. Thank you.